Brian Cox has just revealed a picture of the universe before the Big Bang. In a stunning new discovery, renowned physicist Brian Cox has unveiled a groundbreaking revelation that forces us to rethink the fundamental nature of space and time. This discovery has far-reaching implications, challenging our model of the universe's accelerating expansion and the mysterious dark energy driving it. As the universe races towards an uncertain future, Cox's finding could be the key to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. But what exactly is the evidence for this shocking claim, and what role do black holes play in shaping this important discovery? Join us as we explore this groundbreaking research that threatens to disrupt our perception of the universe and reality itself. It's interesting, this idea of the Big Bang created the universe. That's what Einstein's theory says. That's textbook cosmology, if you like. But the current textbook picture is there was a, a phase in the universe's life before the Big Bang, if you define the Big Bang as the hot, dense phase from which the universe appeared to sort of burst for 13.8 billion years ago. And that phase is called inflation. So what we think happened is that before that, the universe was accelerating exponentially fast. It means it was doubling and doubling and doubling in size. And the numbers are ridiculous. We think that if you started with a universe that was smaller than a single atom, then it would be bigger by a long way than the whole observable universe, 350 billion galaxies in it, in less than a million, 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 millionths of a second. So a very rapid, exponentially fast expansion. And when that stopped, all the energy that was driving that expansion got dumped into space, it heated it up, it produced the particles of matter out of which we are made and all the things that we see out there in the sky, and that's what we see as the Big Bang. So that sounds fanciful, but that's standard cosmology at the moment. The big question then is, well, what started the inflation? What stopped the inflation? How long did the inflation go on for? And the answer to that is, we're not sure. We don't know. This is the universe, a massive expanse measuring 93 billion light years in diameter that's home to around 200 billion galaxies, each of which is made up of billions of stars. A rich mixture of matter, radiation, antimatter, dark matter, and dark energy make up this dynamic and complicated system. Today, we know that the universe had a beginning 14 billion years ago, and that it's been expanding ever since. We also know that the universe has a speed limit. Nothing, not even information, can travel faster than light. As a result, our cosmic horizon is limited to the parts of the universe whose light has had time to reach us in the last 14 billion years. Let's take a moment to consider light, the fastest known entity, which travels at an incredible 300,000 kilometers per second. This means it could circle the Earth 7.5 times in just one second. Light plays a vital role as our cosmic messenger, bringing us information from distant stars and galaxies. Without it, our understanding of the universe would be severely limited. The speed of light is crucial, as it sets a fundamental limit on how fast objects can travel through space. However, this limit doesn't apply to the expansion of space itself. The universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, with the fabric of space stretching rapidly. This phenomenon, first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, is not driven by galaxies moving through space, but rather by the expansion of space between them. A useful analogy to understand this concept is to imagine dots on a balloon. As the balloon inflates, the dots move apart, not because they're moving on their own, but because the balloon's surface is expanding. Similarly, the expansion of space can cause distant galaxies to appear to move away from us at speeds exceeding that of light. This doesn't mean these galaxies are violating the speed limit, rather, it's the space between them that's expanding rapidly. The key distinction here is that the expansion of space is a different kind of movement, not limited by the speed of light. To illustrate this, consider a rule that prohibits running faster than a certain speed. 
However, if the ground beneath you starts stretching, carrying you along at a faster pace than you could ever run, the rule no longer applies. This is similar to how the expansion of space can occur at any rate, unhindered by the speed of light. In our cosmic neighborhood, galaxies seem to be moving relatively slowly away from each other. But as we venture further out into the more distant reaches of the universe, we observe galaxies moving away faster and faster. This variation in expansion rates is described by Hubble's law, named after the renowned astronomer Edwin Hubble. Hubble's law states that the farther a galaxy is from us, the faster it appears to be moving away. The phenomenon is not due to the galaxies themselves speeding up, but rather the stretching of space over vast cosmic distances. While the stretching is less noticeable on smaller scales, it becomes much more pronounced over the vast expanses of the universe. This expansion is not limited by the speed of light, which leads to the concept of the observable universe. The observable universe includes all the parts of the cosmos that we can, in principle, observe. However, due to the rapid expansion of space, there are regions of the universe that we can never see, no matter how powerful our telescopes become. The light from these distant regions is simply moving away from us faster than it can reach us. This faster-than-light expansion, driven by the mysterious force known as dark energy, also raises questions about the ultimate fate of the universe. Will it continue to expand forever, or is there another cosmic twist in store? Scientists are still grappling with these profound questions. The expansion of the universe also challenges our intuitive understanding of the cosmos. We're accustomed to thinking of things moving within space, but here, space itself is carrying galaxies away. This reminds us that the universe operates on laws and scales that can seem quite alien to our everyday experiences. As renowned physicist Brian Cox explored the possibility of a universe existing before the Big Bang, the initial reaction was often one of skepticism. But by delving into the heart of the universe's mystery, we can uncover the fascinating concepts that shape our understanding of the cosmos. To begin, let's introduce a very important context. You might be surprised to learn that as a young physicist, Albert Einstein, along with most of his peers, believed in a static universe. In this model, everything stays the same, with objects remaining in the same place they've always been, forever. However, in the early 20th century, four key discoveries came together to change our understanding of the universe. Alexander Friedman's work on Einstein's general relativity showed that a universe filled with matter and energy can't remain static. It must either expand or contract. The rate of this expansion or contraction depends on the overall energy density of space. Around the same time, Henrietta Leavitt made an important connection between the brightness and dimness of variable stars and their inherent brightness, known as the period-luminosity relation. Meanwhile, Vesto Slipher observed that the light from the spiral and elliptical nebula, later identified as galaxies, was shifting towards the red end of the spectrum, indicating that these galaxies were moving away from us at incredible speeds. Edwin Hubble and Milton Humerson then identified similar variable stars in these galaxies, allowing them to measure the distances to these galaxies and confirm that they were outside our own. These findings, combined with other data, led to the concept of an expanding universe. If the universe is expanding, it means that space itself is stretching, causing the matter within it to become less dense. As space expands, radiation-like light waves becomes less concentrated and stretches, leading to the universe cooling over time. If we were to rewind the clock, the opposite would happen. In earlier times, when the universe was younger, it was denser and hotter. If we rewind further, all matter and radiation would have been squeezed into a smaller space, increasing the universe's density. The light that stretches due to cosmic expansion would have had a shorter wavelength, resulting in hotter temperatures. Let's take a step back and imagine going back in time as far as physics allows would reach a singular state where all matter and radiation are condensed into a single point of infinite density and temperature. 
This idea is the foundation of the Big Bang Theory, which led to five key predictions about the early universe's hot and dense conditions. Firstly, the universe should be expanding, which is evident from the redshift distance relationship among extragalactic objects. Secondly, the universe was initially very uniform, with structures like stars, galaxies, and galaxy clusters forming and evolving over time. Thirdly, the universe was so hot in the past that it prevented the formation of stable neutral atoms, which led to the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation that we can observe today. In the early universe, atomic nuclei couldn't form stably due to the extremely high temperatures, resulting in the creation of light elements like hydrogen, helium, and their isotopes. The universe was so hot that neutrinos played a significant role, and recently, this prediction was confirmed, indicating that cosmic neutrinos should have detectable effects on the large-scale structure and leftover radiation from the Big Bang. With strong observational evidence supporting these predictions, the Big Bang theories remain the primary explanation for the early universe since the 1960s. However, as evidence supporting the hot Big Bang theory grew in the 1960s and 1970s, certain challenges surfaced that the Big Bang alone couldn't resolve. Two challenges stand out in particular. Firstly, there's the horizon problem. When we observe different directions, the universe seems to have uniform temperatures and density throughout, but these regions have never had the opportunity to communicate or achieve thermal equilibrium with one another. This raises the question of how they evolved to exhibit uniform temperatures and conditions across the board. Secondly, there's the issue of flatness. In an expanding universe, there's a continuous tug of war between the initial expansion pushing things apart and gravitational forces attempting to pull everything back together. Remarkably, in our universe, these opposing forces appear to be perfectly balanced, resulting in a spatially flat universe. The question arises, what role do black holes play in this? Black holes are a fascinating aspect of our universe, and most people have a basic understanding of what they are. For better context, black holes are incredibly massive celestial bodies with infinite density, typically around 10 times the mass of our sun. Their key characteristic is their incredibly strong gravitational force, which is so powerful that not even light can escape once it gets too close. This is why they're called black holes, as they don't emit or reflect any light, making them invisible to us directly. The formation of black holes is closely tied to the life cycle of certain stars. When these stars reach the end of their life, they undergo a supernova explosion, where the outer layers of the star are blown off, and the remaining material collapses in on itself, creating the black hole. Since black holes don't emit or reflect any light, we can't observe them directly. Instead, we rely on indirect methods, such as detecting radiation and gravitational effects on nearby stars to identify their presence. This is the basic understanding of stellar black holes, which are formed from stars. However, there's another category of black holes known as supermassive black holes. These behemoths have masses of millions or even billions of times that of our sun. Two massive black holes have been found at the center of galaxies, and it's believed, although not yet proven, that every galaxy in the universe has one at its center. The existence of supermassive black holes raises an important question. Where and when did they come from? Unfortunately, the answer is that we don't know. The oldest supermassive black hole identified so far formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. While this may seem like a long time, it's actually quite short on a cosmic scale. It's unclear how a stellar black hole could have formed and grown to such enormous sizes in such a short period. One possible explanation is that some supermassive black holes may have predated the Big Bang itself. There's a theory that the universe may be cyclical, with the Big Bang being followed by a big crunch, where the universe collapses back in on itself before another Big Bang. According to a more recent theory, some supermassive black holes may be the result of matter that didn't collapse into the singularity before the Big Bang. 
If this theory is true, it would have significant implications and raise even more questions. It would suggest that the universe is indeed cyclical and may have been repeating this process forever. It would also raise the question of how some matter is able to avoid the big crunch and create these primordial black holes. While this is currently speculative, there is some evidence to support the idea, although it's far from conclusive. Scientists are actively searching for primordial black holes that either predated the Big Bang or were created in the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. Many believe that finding them is a strong possibility. Now, let's shift gears a bit and explore a surprising discovery in 2024 that rewrites what we believed of the cosmos. Imagine sifting through vast amounts of data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and stumbling upon something extraordinary. That's exactly what PhD student Alexia Lopez did when she discovered a massive circle of galactic clusters 9.2 billion light years away from us. Let's turn, though, to a fascinating story because scientists have discovered a gigantic ring-shaped structure in space which is so big it challenges our understanding of the universe. Experts at the University of Central Lancashire say it's 1.3 billion light years in diameter and appears to be roughly 15 times the size of the moon as seen from Earth. Structures that that big shouldn't exist according to one of the guiding principles of astronomy. Well, I'm delighted to say let's speak to Alexia Lopez, the PhD student at the University of Central Lancashire who identified what has been called the big ring. Uh, you are smiling broadly. I'm not surprised. I mean, what does it feel <laughs> like making a discovery like this? So I've discovered a really massive structure in the universe. So these are the biggest things um, in our universe. Um, so it's made up of galaxies and galaxy clusters, and it creates this really big ring shape. Dubbed the Big Ring, this structure is so enormous that it challenges our understanding of the universe. With a diameter of 1.3 billion light years and a circumference of 4 billion light years, it could be the largest structure in the observable universe. But there's a problem. The Big Ring's existence raises questions about some fundamental cosmological principles. To understand why, let's take a step back to the Big Bang. In the first few hundred years after the universe began, it was a dense plasma ocean. As waves rippled through this plasma, they created peaks and valleys, known as Baryonic Acoustic Oscillations BAO. These oscillations are thought to have led to the distribution of matter we see today, as well as the patterns in the cosmic microwave background radiation. The issue is that our current models of BAO suggest that the upper limit for cosmic structures should be around 1.2 billion light years in length. Yet we're finding structures that defy this limit, like the Big Ring. And it's not alone. In 2021, Alexia Lopez discovered another limit breaker, the giant arc in the sky, which spans an incredible 3.3 billion light years. Although it doesn't form a complete circle like the Big Ring, it's still an enormous structure. To put their size into perspective, the Laniakea supercluster, which contains our Milky Way galaxy, is only about 520 million light years in diameter. That's tiny compared to the Big Ring and the Giant Arc. In fact, if the Giant Arc were visible to the human eye, it would take up the space of 20 full moons lined up side by side. It's so large that it covers about a fifth of the radius of the entire visible universe. The existence of these two massive structures raises more questions than answers. As Lopez puts it, the Big Ring and the Giant Arc, both individually and together, give us a big cosmological mystery. Their ultra-large sizes, distinctive shapes, and proximity to each other must be telling us something important. But what exactly? The discovery of the Big Ring in 2024 has only added to the enigma, leaving scientists to ponder the implications of these enormous structures on our understanding of the universe. Brian Cox's groundbreaking discovery was achieved in his attempt to study the oldest light in the observable universe. What secrets would the oldest light in the cosmos reveal about the origin of the universe? Brian Cox delves into these questions by exploring the cosmic microwave background radiation, a relic of the universe's infancy. 
This relic of the cosmos is not just any light, it's the oldest light in the universe, released 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Cox explains that after the Big Bang, the universe cooled down sufficiently for atoms to form, and at that point the universe became transparent. The light that was released has been traveling through the universe ever since. We have a satellite up at the moment called Planck, which is a European satellite that's been taking detailed pictures of this light. In that light, it's like a baby picture of the universe, like a scan of the universe in its earliest days. By analyzing this light, scientists can gain insights into the universe's formation and evolution. The Planck mission was a pioneering effort to study the cosmic microwave background, offering an unprecedented view of the universe with its exceptional sensitivity, angular resolution, and frequency range. As the universe expanded, it cooled, and during a period known as recombination, electrons and nuclei combined to form atoms, liberating light that was previously trapped. This transition marked a significant shift from an opaque to a transparent universe. The Planck Observatory, in conjunction with the Hubble Space Telescope, has greatly enhanced our understanding of the universe's early stages. By observing distant stars and galaxies, scientists have been able to uncover cosmic secrets and gain a deeper understanding of the universe's origins. Now, the torch of cosmic exploration is being passed to the James Webb Space Telescope, which promises to take our understanding to new heights. The James Webb Space Telescope is a significant step forward, boasting the ability to see longer wavelength light or infrared light. This capability is crucial for understanding how the first stars and galaxies formed in the universe. By looking far out into the universe, scientists can observe light from galaxies that are millions of light years away, effectively looking back in time and witnessing events that occurred millions of years ago. For instance, the Andromeda Galaxy, which is about 2 million light-years away, appears to us as it did 2 million years ago. This is a remarkable concept to grasp, and it underscores the significance of the James Webb Space Telescope in our continued exploration of the cosmos. Imagine being able to see the universe as it was in its earliest days, witnessing the formation of the first stars and galaxies. This is the kind of insight that the James Webb Space Telescope promises to deliver. As we continue to explore the cosmos with innovative technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope, we are, in essence, reconciling the mysteries of the universe, one discovery at a time. Thanks for watching another episode of The Wind. While you're still here, click on the other videos you see on your screen right now.